What is up folks? So um, I am gonna give you a quick intro on how to get things set up for the Build React Apps Workshop. I don't wanna waste any of your time, so I'm gonna go quick here. Uh, so yeah, this is my remote workshops. There are actually still tics tickets available, so if you wanna uh, come, you can grab a uh, ticket. But uh, yeah, so this is the app that we're gonna be working on. You can actually see a full um, built production version of this app right here and you can register for an account and I can go Harry Potter and uh, there you go you can create that um, and then we can go to the discover page we've got these I'm gonna add this to my reading list we'll go here and say I'm done with it and so now I'm gonna mark it as five and this is awesome and uh, yeah this book was actually written by my friend Zach Argyle he's awesome and the book is very good so yeah, uh, it's it's cool stuff. And um, I'm gonna show you how to get it set up because it's a little bit different from the rest of the workshops uh, that I've done. And if you're in the masterclass right now, then this will be a little bit different. Um, yeah, different for what you wanna do. Uh, we do still have the pre-workshop stuff. So please uh, go through that if you haven't already. Uh, in particular, especially if you're going through the masterclass, um, I'd strongly advise that you spend a little bit of time um, watching the beginner's guide to React. It will, um, it's a lot of review for those of you who've taken my stuff before, um, but it's full of stuff that will really solidify some things for you. Uh, it's good review because uh, I assume all knowledge of everything that's in this course um, when you take build React application. So please make sure you do that. Um, and uh, yeah, th these, these, this one's pretty helpful. Um, and yeah, hopefully you have experience with use state, use effect, and use ref because we're going to be using those. And I am staying away from these for the first half of this workshop. For the advanced uh, version of this workshop, we will be using all of these and it's going to be great. Uh, so yeah, same system requirements. Here's how we get things set up. So I'm just going to copy this and bring this over here just to my desktop. We're just going to run all of that and get things up and running. So we got it cloned. We're starting the workshop setup. That's going to start system validation. And then we get into dependency installation. I should probably put a background on these so that it's uh, not so hard to read. But uh, yeah, so it'll take a moment to install. We're, for all the other workshops, we install a lot of dependencies. But this one, we're installing quite a few more because it's an actual app. And so it may take a little bit of time to get that set up, but hopefully not too long. And uh, it will, in fact, it will not ask for your email. I'd, I haven't thought of a good way to uh, make it pre-fill those forms, uh, those feedback forms for you. So yeah, this one will not ask for your email. Um, yeah, so uh, almost done. Now we've installed all the dependencies. We're validating the, uh, that things were installed properly by running all of the tests. You may see warnings here with the book screen, um, some act warnings in there. Still working out some kinks and, and trying to decide how best to test React query. So um, you, you may see some warnings pop up, but they're fine. As long as this finishes without any errors, then it's fine. If it does have errors, then you can try and run the validation script again. Um, and because uh, sometimes I found that the Cypress test that we have running here um, can be flaky and I'm, I'm still figuring out why those are flaky as well. Um, but uh, it, it should work just fine uh, without a hitch, but just mentioning that. Okay, so now that we have this complete, we can run npm start and get the app up and running locally. And uh, this will pop up over here. So let me bring this over. Uh, and it should be very familiar to what we saw earlier. So yours will not have anything in uh, local storage. So let me um, get to a, a spot where you would be. So if I go to my application, we're going to clear storage, just clear everything. Everything's gone now. Uh, I'll do a refresh and here we are um, with the bookshelf. So I want to take you on a quick tour of the bookshelf app itself because it's got some cool features that you'll want to know about. So first off, I'm going to log in. Uh, well, you can try to log in, uh, but it won't let you because the username is required. And so we're going to register. Uh, there's no actual like real registration. The the trick with this here, I gotta get all these out of here. The trick with this is that um, we're not actually hitting a real database. It would just add a huge layer of complexity to have you set up a real database or to hit something 
you know, uh, somewhere else, uh, then we'd have to rely on your network connection and stuff. So um, all the entire database is actually um, in local storage. And um, all of the network requests are actually hitting the network, but I've got a service worker that's responding to those network requests. Um, this is actually something I do recommend for real production applications is that you have a mock server and using a service worker is a perfect um, solution for this. So it works out really nicely actually. Um, we just don't have um, an actual database that we end up uh, shipping with to production. So in any case we're going to register. You can register with whatever. I like ABC123. We'll hit register. It looks like we failed to fetch. That'll happen sometimes. I'll, I'll try to get that fixed. Uh, and whenever you see that, just do a hard reload. And I think this has something to do with the fact that I, I cleared my cache. So that shouldn't happen to you. So let's try that again, ABC123. And we get registered, we're awesome. Okay, cool. So I think actually, um, yeah, from here you can like actually use the app, everything should work fine. And then the thing that I wanted to show you was there's a fancy little thing here at the bottom. So if you mouse over to the bottom, then this is the bookshelf dev tools and you mouse out and they go away. If you want them to stick around, then you can click on this and they'll stay uh, and stick around and it's pretty fun. Uh, but there are a couple of things in here that uh, you might want to play with. So request fail, a failure percentage. So this is the percent of times a request will fail. You can go up to 100 or down to zero. So if you wanted to test um, an error case to show some error state, then you bring this up to 100%. And then you say, okay, let's add this to my reading list. And we're going to get a failure. And it looks like um, something must be busted because this should stop and show an error message here. But it looks like that's not happening. Uh, still got some, some kinks to work out. But here, here's another um, example of this. Oh, and everything explodes. Okay, yeah, still got a couple of things to fix. Um, with this, but here I'm going to come. This is what should happen: is it should say random failure for testing purposes, uh, and then in some areas it will actually like show an inline error message, and that's what you'll be testing most of the time. So let's bring this down to zero. So that's just useful if you want to uh, test an error message. Uh, then you can also change the amount of time that requests take. So if you want it to take longer, see what a loading state looks like. Then you can bump this up and uh, now it's five and a half seconds. Uh, and then if you want to have a, a variation on how long it takes, you can say, I want it to take at least five seconds, but it can take um, you know, eight and a half seconds uh, max or only five and a half seconds. So you can kind of control that uh, really fine grained. The default is 300 here and 200 here. So it's, that's pretty normal for, uh, for most things. So I'm gonna do a hard reload here and boom, we're, we're good, we're set. Uh, so that's that's the app. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the app. Uh, you can add things to your reading list. You can mark things as awesome, and that will save. If there's an error, an error message will show up right there. You can check it off, and then you can give it a rating. And we have some optimistic updates going on here as well. And if there's an error, then um, it will revert that. It's pretty cool. So let me show you the code and how you can get exercises going. So I'm going to open this in my favorite code editor. You do that however you like to. And um, so here we have uh, the whole app. We're actually not going to be working in uh, the app from master. Okay, So we're going to be actually building this out from scratch. And uh, it's kind of hard to do that if you start out in master. So the way that we have this working is we have a branch that you'll check out for every exercise. And so you'll start with that uh, branch. You check it out. And then you the first thing that you do is open up the instructions. Okay, So we're going to git check out. And it'll be exercises 0, 1. Bootstrap, that's the, the first exercise. So you can look at all of the available exercises we've got. Uh, so far, I, I've finished 01 Bootstrap, and I'm working on getting the rest of these as well. Uh, we have Bootstrap, um, Styles, Data Fetching, Authentication. Those are all done, and I've just got two more for the workshop we're doing on Tuesday, and then um, I'll work on the, the ones that we're doing for the advanced workshop soon. Uh, so yeah, we've got Bootstrap. That'll check that out. And um, now our instructions have a bunch of stuff in it. So we've got um, some background, exercise info, and then there's a bunch of extra credits. So this should be familiar if you've taken one of my workshops before. The difference here is uh, other workshops that I have, you'll have an exercise and a final directory and tests and stuff. 
Um, this one, we're actually trying to build an app. And so we don't want to um, change the structure just for the instruction. And so the way that we do this is we have um, each one of the files that you're going to be working in, which are indicated right here, is going to have an exercise and a final version, as well as the extra credits right here. And so if you look at the main file, all this does is it re-exports everything from the final version. And so that way you can come over to your app and you're like, okay, so this is what I'm building. This is the end of the entire thing that I'm working on. And you can interact with that. Okay, login is clicked. Okay, so this is what I'm building. Once you figure out what you're building, then you comment that out and comment in the exercise version. And you'll see that there's nothing here. So we're gonna come into the exercise and you've got your familiar emoji here. So that's, that's the basic workflow uh, is you come in here, you comment out the final, comment in the exercise so that you can uh, have your exercise version of the file rendered. And if you wanna reference the final, that's totally cool. You can do that right here. Uh, and then we also do have extra credits that you can uh, look at and uh, you can comment those in as well. So now here we have login that renders out this login dialog. And then if you wanna uh, see what the extra two version is gonna be, then we've got stuff is cool, and then log in, and you'll see we've got a log to the console for that. So uh, each one of the exercises are gonna be like this. We'll finish up, and when we're all done, then we'll come to our instructions, and at the very bottom, we'll have a link to the elaboration and feedback so you don't forget the stuff that you're learning. And I recommend that you do that. Uh, and just to give you an idea of what to look forward to here, we're gonna check out exercises 04 authentication, because this one we start to get a little bit more complicated. We've got more files in the project. Uh, the thing's been designed now, and we can log in um, with the, a user. We can search for a book, and that'll give us a bunch of books. And um, yeah, then we have uh, some background on authentication. Here's how you use different APIs and, and that kind of thing. Here's what we're going to be doing. And then here we have multiple files. So with that, we have um, an app, and that's just re-exporting from the final at start, so you switch it to the exercise. And uh, you would do this for all of the files that we're working in. So all the files that are listed right here, you're going to have that same sort of thing. You'll have a uh, API client final, and you'll want to re-export from exercise because that's where you're going to be working. And then for the auth client as well, you have the exercise and the final um, that you can toggle between those two. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how that all works. And then not all of these files has an extra credit. Some of them do and some of them don't. And the extra credits are just um, listed right here. So here's our first one. Loads the user's data on the page load. So we're gonna come in here, we'll see. That's where the finished version of that is. And if you wanna test that out, then you can comment that in. Um, but most of the time you should just be working through your exercise. It's only useful to comment these out if you want to see what that looks like when you're all, uh, all finished and said and done. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how that all works. Hopefully, um, I, I think that this is going to be a really cool um, way to learn how to build a, a React app together. Um, it, it'll be really familiar in the, the style of teaching and everything. We've got the background and explanation for what we're doing. We've got a storyline with our product manager. And uh, you also have a coworker. I haven't given her a name yet, uh, but she's an elf. So if you have any suggestions on a name for our coworker, she's really good. And uh, I, I need to come up with a name for our backend developer too, because they're really good also. Um, but I, I think that's pretty much it. And, and so like we'll, we'll work, I'll, I'll give you an intro on each exercise. We'll all check out the branch together and um, I'll give you the intro and then we'll uh, set you off in your breakout rooms. You'll work on these for about 15 minutes or so, just enough to get you into it, uh, but not enough for you to finish. You, there's too much content for you to actually finish every single one of these exercises during our workshop time. Now, this is all open source. It'll be up available to you forever. Um, and you can work through this um, at a later time if you want to get through it all. But the purpose of the exercise is just to get you in the mindset so that um, when I go through the solution, you understand what's going on and you're not just totally lost with all the files and stuff. So yeah, we'll have about 15 minutes to work on each exercise. I'll go through and um, I'll try to get through some of the extra credit. Sometimes I may just actually show you what the extra credit is and explain it rather than code it um, just uh, by virtue of the, the time that we have. 
But uh, yeah, it should get you in a really solid place for being able to build real React applications. And then of course you can always reference this uh, material um, when you're building your own React applications, be like, how did he do that authentication flow and all that? So that's going to be a good time. I'm really excited about this. I think you're going to have a, an awesome time learning in this way. And I just wanted to give you this run through. Um, please do go ahead and set it up. Uh, just know that um, you may want to set it up like right before, like maybe um, a half hour, an hour before, um, just to make sure that uh, I didn't update anything at, at the last minute because like I said, I am currently working on improving some of these um, these exercises. So it's going to be a good time. You're going to love this. Um, and yeah, the next thing I'm working on is we're going to do routing. And then um, the last one is uh, data fetching uh, with like actual um, adding um, these uh, books to our reading list and stuff like that. So data manipulation stuff. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Um, and so, yeah, th if you're watching this just to get ready, you can stop right now, but I'm going to answer a couple questions in the chat and then I'll jump out. So um, we've got some people waving and saying hi and stuff. Um, why don't I use TypeScript? That's a great question. So the reason that this project isn't using TypeScript, even though I recommend it for building React apps, is because if I use TypeScript, then I'd have to teach you all TypeScript. And that's a great thing. I'd love to teach you TypeScript, but we are learning React. And, um, and I don't want to spend so much time teaching you TypeScript that we kind of forget that we are here to learn React together. So um, it's it's a time constraint thing and adding TypeScript into the mix just like you can make an entire course the same size as Epic React um, just to teach about TypeScript and so there's just not really a reasonable way for me to do that. I can assume JavaScript knowledge when I'm teaching people React but I can't assume TypeScript knowledge so that's, that's that. Uh, and question, is this part of a series? Yes, it will be on Epic React Dev. Um, people who have the masterclass ticket will get a free license to this. It will come um, later this year. And people who have tickets to my workshops get a special discount um, to this when it's uh, released. So it's going to be great. You're going to love this. Uh, and what's cool is I've got all of these workshops, right? Um, all of these workshops about React. And each one of these workshops has concepts that we um, teach that will prepare you for um, the things that I teach you in the Build React app uh, workshops. And so the way that it's going to work is we'll have um, these lessons from building the React app kind of interspersed in all of these other modules that we'll have recorded. It's going to be a fantastic learning experience, and you're going to love this. It's going to be great. Okay. Cool. Um, and that's it. So I didn't want to waste any of your time, and I've already taken a bunch of time. So forgive me for that. Um, I hope that you have a great weekend or whenever you watch this. And I look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday. Um, or if you're watching this for the advanced stuff, um, I think that's on the 22nd of April. So whenever that is. Um, looking forward to it. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>